want young people to know, especially when LGBTQ youth have the highest rates of suicide and homelessness, that is not a single issue. That's not one kid deciding to be homeless. That is a community that has left that kid out and says literally, we are not invested in your survival or your joy, good luck out in the world. So if all you get is one of my comics, there is something there to tell you otherwise. Now, this is where we get scary. Oh my God, white supremacist is up there. Ah, run! <laughs> what that means in a, in, a, in, a, in a taking it down level, when I talk to middle schoolers, first of all, they get it. They're the first ones that are like, okay? They are ready to dismantle it all. To me, that is like the story that exists about you that you did not create the one that is about your people, the one that says that your people are murderers or rapists or killers or illegals, those stories, that's what you disrupt. Those stories serve no purpose but to further other people's like violent tendencies, people that are not invested in well-being and as storytellers, as people invested in communities, we have the power to change those narratives. And it doesn't mean taking down somebody else's work. It just means taking up your space, the space that is rightfully yours. Now, let's go back to talking about society. We've got these disruptions, but we have a society that's built. If you live a certain way, you are more uh, likely to experience certain benefits, right? If you're straight and you get married, you get a whole family to come out and be like, yeah, we know how to do this. And in media, whoever creates the media, they put their heroes, they put their icons, right? We got like all those statues of like Robert E. Lee, we got the Lincoln Memorial, we got streets named after slave owners, you know, real big folks. And so for me, part of the disruption is like, I am gonna put folks that mean the world to me in my work. These references, Sonia Sotomayor, please tell me, do y'all know who Sonia is? Can we give it up for the first Puerto Rican Supreme Court Justice from the Bronx? Bah! She doesn't know it, but she's also my grandma. Okay, this is, this is real. And in my mind, I was like, if I'm going to create a world for America, and she's going to go to college, like hundreds of thousands of young people do all over, what is a mind-blowing college that she could go to? Who means something to me? That's why I was like, I can't do this. I was talking to Marvel. I was like, I can't build a world. I don't know how to do that. I'm just like a goofy writer that got lucky. Like, and the people at Marvel, they were like, what is your dream school? My dream school is a school that is founded on respecting people of color, that is founded by the things that we have invented and created and manifested, and we are important. Why not put Sonia in that place? And if you read the comic, and you can kind of see it a little bit here, she's a hologram. <laughs> she is a giant robed hologram that welcomes students from all across the galaxy into school to learn. And to me, again, this is disruption. This is also life changing. This also saves lives. The more faces and, and, and stories that you include in the work that you do, the examples of, of people's magic out in the world, you are saving lives. There's no other way to, to, to put it out there. Again, let's go back to my mom's basement, right? It's a great place. I was unemployed, and I felt like nobody would ever care about anything that I was doing. And I was reading Sonia's autobiography. And every time that I doubted myself, I would open that book and be like, no, like, Sonia literally grew up like three blocks from where my mom grew up. Sonia was able to do this and that, and like, that helped me push forward. But when we experience media and when we experience things from the mainstream, we do not often get icons and, and leaders of color. At the end of the day, right, it is about centering yourself in who you are and where you've been, and, and, and opening up ways to like share that with other people.